guys, Coach Kelsey here with our Catching Confetti series. Today we're going to be talking about a visionary mindset. When we cast a vision for ourselves, we want it to do four things for us. First, we want it to be something that is true to ourselves. The second thing is that we want it to be something that motivates us for the long haul. Third, we want our vision to function as a compass for our decision making as we move forward. And fourth, we want to make sure that our vision helps us create forward momentum. Now, when we think about our true desires, the reality is that oftentimes we're not actually living out of our own true desires. We're listening to loud voices around us, three voices in particular, the voice of tradition, the voice of others, and the voice of shame. The voice of tradition says, this is how it's always been done, so this is what we need to do. The voice of others could be a plethora of voices that we're hearing, different messages we're taking in about what we should or shouldn't do. And then the voice of shame is the voice of our insecurities and our fears. So oftentimes our true desires get tuned out by these loud voices in our lives. What we ultimately need to do is think about what we truly want and why we want it. Now our motives may not always be the healthiest, so we want to keep those in check. But when we decide that this is what we want and here's why we want it and it's because of a healthy motive, that's what we need to pursue in our lives. That's what we want to become our vision. Now there was a coach who asked a player, what do you want on this team? And the player said, well, I want to be the leading scorer. He said, okay, why do you want to be the leading scorer? And he said, well, because I want to get the highest level scholarship to play at the next level. I want to be financially stable. Now that was the surface level reasoning, but the coach wanted to take it a step deeper and said, well, why do you want to be financially stable? And the player thought about it and said, well, I suppose I want to be taken care of. So what that coach was able to find there is that the core reasoning that that player wanted to be the leading scorer was to be taken care of. And oftentimes we have these deep-seated motivations behind why we want what we want. And so I wanna encourage you to do that today. I want you to think about something you want in your life, and I want you to dig deeper. I want you to ask yourself, well, why do I want this? And to not stop there, to ask yourself one more time, well, why do I want that surface level reason? And that there can provide the motivation to create a vision so that you can then accomplish your goals in your life.